it's really a new way of thinking and we really have to adapt the setup in the OR and I think that is crucial. And if the surgeon is not ready to do that, um, then, then it, will, it will be a failure. So I think it's a key point that the surgeon is thinking ahead, where are we going to put the screen? Where are we going to put the microscope? How is the microscope going to be set up in relation to the surgeon? And how is the screen going to be set up in uh, relation to the surgeon? Because having ergonomics, of course, asks that a screen, uh, obviously these high definition 3D screens, are in a direct line of sight with the surgeon. And then we have the assistant. In neurosurgery, often we uh, do surgery with a resident, especially in a teaching hospital. Uh, if we are doing surgery side by side, we can both watch the same screen. But if we're doing face-to-face -face surgery, like it happens in posterior fossa, uh, ov obviously like it happens in spine surgery, then we need to think about positioning a main screen for the lead surgeon and a second screen for the resident or the assistant. So there is a whole thinking that needs to take place when we move on to exoscopic surgery with heads-up display. As you were able to see, um, we can stand pretty straight uh, behind the patient. Uh, here we're doing a, a surgery in a standing position, but we could also be sitting. But the key was that we have the screen in front of us uh, with 3D visualization, uh, the camera coming from the side, and we can be multiple surgeons standing next to each other, all having the same view of the field. Training of residents has been you know, very near to my heart. It's, it's part of what I want to do in a teaching hospital. And it is true that when the surgeon is working on binoculars, he is caught in this bubble. And it has been a little bit of a mainstay of microsurgery is that you're working in that bubble on, on, on binoculars. But the discussion with other people that are being trained in the OR, uh, of course, is a little bit limited. And I think surgeons need to find the balance between having this open field, performing surgery with overhead display, and losing the bubble. There is a little bit of a learning curve in, in my perception, not in terms of how the surgeon uh, moves his hands, not in terms of haptics, but in terms of being able to focus on this very particular surgery, microsurgical procedure, but still having this open view of what's going on in the OR. And I think also this is a, a next step that we have to uh, work with. But on the other hand, of course, it allows you to talk to one resident, two residents, several residents, because there is an open space. And the residents can actually follow the main surgery in the same quality than the head surgeon sees on the overhead display. We are three surgeons at the same time, we have a resident and attending and myself, and we're able to stand next to each other and communicate, discuss, all looking at the same image. So we don't have to switch around between one resident and the other, we can all stand there and everybody can learn at the same time.